Hi, I'm Richard Dolan. I'm starting something new called Quick Takes. These are videos that are around five minutes long or so. Welcome to number one, why UFO reports still matter. UFOs have definitely gone through a public makeover during the last four years to the point where it's no longer the automatic kiss of death for people who to openly talk about why they believe in UFOs. And believe me, I'm all for that. But that doesn't mean our community is on easy street in terms of full social acceptance, because we're not. Nor does it mean that we're having a public conversation that is like anything complete. So forget the transformation of talking about from UFOs to UAP. That's an obvious exercise in rebranding the whole phenomenon. It's not hard to understand why, at least if you're someone uh, trying to kickstart a new, fresh public conversation on UFOs. We all know the baggage that the term UFO has had, much of it very negative, uh, piled on by years of establishment and even intelligence community efforts. So we can at least understand why some people would be like, okay, not UFOs, we're gonna talk about UAP, whatever. But much worse, in my opinion, is that in all of this recent discussion of like the United States Navy and its encounters with UAP, as important as that is, no question, something has become completely lost in all of this. And that's the fact that UFO sightings or UAP sightings by ordinary people have been completely overlooked and ignored, discarded, as if they never happen. Keep in mind that this was always sightings by ordinary people around the world that started this whole thing, at least in the public realm. From Kenneth Arnold in 1947, through all the decades of the 20th century. And yes, we all knew that there were important military sightings and encounters with UFOs. And they were important, they are important, but still the foundation of this subject was always how it was observed and experienced by ordinary people. And in that sense, you could say that this was a very democratic phenomenon. Um, but since we've been seeing this rebranding in the last few years, it's as if the public dimension of UFOs has just disappeared. It's important to know about the US Navy sightings. We can all agree, yes, but so is something else, which is that every single day around the world, ordinary people continue to see and report absolutely inexplicable sightings. They haven't stopped. It never ceases to amaze me how no one is talking about all this activity. I regularly check on it. I look at cur current sightings from a number of sources. One of my favorites is the National UFO Reporting Center. That's been operated for many years by Peter Davenport. I'm gonna read a typical account. This is the, the kind that they get every day, thousands every year. This one took place very near Tucson, Arizona on August 20th, uh, 2021. And this is what the uh, witness wrote. I was driving my children to school when we witnessed an oval-shaped, bright, silver-white object in the sky. We had stopped at a traffic light and watched the object moving north. The object moved north a short distance, then changed shape. As it changed shape, it sandwiched into a flat line and then vanished. My son and daughter witnessed this with me. My son said, that has to be a UFO. At the time of the sighting, it was daylight with clear skies. Okay, so that's what she wrote. No one is saying that all of these sightings are aliens, but my goodness, there are so many of these very difficult to describe and explain reports. We need to be asking questions like, are these all secret military craft? If so, there's a lot of explaining to do. But if they are all military, how do you explain the fact that these things are reported on the opposite side of the world in, in many different countries? Are they all military? Well, maybe, but that would be kind of interesting in and of itself, wouldn't it? But maybe they're just too difficult to explain as solely classified military tech. Yeah, I think that's probably the case. So that whoever is behind this, I can say one thing pretty confidently, which is that this is the result of a great amount of dedication, time, energy, and money. Somebody's money, whether it's humans or aliens footing the bill, because we're talking about a worldwide commitment here every day. Who's behind these sightings? What are they up to? What are they doing? These were the questions that people logically asked 
back in the 1940s and 50s. We seem to have forgotten to ask these very basic questions today. Now it's all about, can we have disclosure? Can we wait for the government to throw us some scraps when you know it's not going to be honest? The thing is not to forget that something important is going on around us every single day, every night, often right in your own neighborhood, believe it or not. Thanks for listening.